brain is the most important and underutilized part of the human body. The late great actor John Wayne once said, Life is hard. It's even harder when you're stupid. And yet, despite this common sense wisdom, our self-absorbed culture is increasingly obsessed with entertainment and personal expression. While those things are great, we must balance them with personal development, education, self-discipline, and a strong work ethic. Hence the wisdom of my favorite ancient proverb, a wise man will hear and increase learning. It's easy to have an opinion. Opinions, after all, are the cheapest commodity on earth. Opinions should be based on more than preference and taste. They should be based on information and analysis. Presidential elections are a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Americans are full of opinions about our presidential candidates and have no problem expressing those opinions in a variety of ways. But how many American voters have actually read the Constitution of the United States, which after all is the supreme law of our land and the very basis of our government? In fact, even if a candidate wins the office of the presidency by virtue of an election, he or she must take an oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States before they can ever occupy the White House. Don't you think it's kind of important then that the voters read the Constitution before voting for president? Especially when you consider that the very job description of the presidency is found in Article 2 of the Constitution. I tend to agree with comedian Bill Maher, who says we should forget the town halls and replace them with study halls. And let's talk about religion. How many people with strong opinions concerning Islam have read any portion of the Quran? How many people with strong opinions for or against Christianity have actually read the Bible? What's more, agnostics and other critics of faith are correct when they point out that people should not hold to their religious beliefs and traditions simply because their loved ones did or because it provides them comfort. Truth is not based on your emotional need. Truth is what corresponds with objective fact. Wanting something to be true does not make it true. And this is the case with getting into heaven. Your loved one isn't in heaven just because you want them to be, and you don't get into heaven simply because you have a desire to be there. Life after death is precisely what Paul was getting at when he wrote to the church in Corinth in the first century AD, if Christ be not risen, your faith is in vain. That verse in 1 Corinthians 15 means that Christianity's credibility hinges on whether a dead man came back to life, specifically whether Jesus of Nazareth rose from the dead. When it comes to assessing whether a religion is true or not, don't ask whether or not you agree with that religion's adherence, or whether you like what that religion says, but rather ask are the claims true? Whether we're talking about Christianity, Islam, Judaism, pantheism, Hinduism, Buddhism, or any other religious faith, Look at the evidence. Deciding which religion is true is not like picking your favorite ice cream flavor. Examine the evidence for the claims of that respective religion. The examples are endless. Whether we're talking about religion or politics or money or business or careers or family or sexuality, people's opinions are most often based on their emotions and preferences and not on the facts. Education is more important and more valuable than expression. And we should spend more time reading and hearing than we do talking. What goes into your brain and how your brain processes that information will ultimately determine the value of what comes out of your mouth. Don't just be opinionated and expressive. Be a responsible, informed, and thoughtful person. And by so doing, you'll be a successful one.